Coming into the season, Oregon State was talking about growing up on the run. They may have done that in the second half tonight. They beat San Jose State 35-21. A different team in the second half, Mike Lamb. Well, they were much more of a Gary Anderson team and what he is trying to promote this program into. Storm Bars Woods had a big day for Oregon State. Early on in the first half, he takes a middle screen, breaks about three tackles and carries it down to the five-yard line. That led to a touchdown. But then Ramel Dockery, one of two back-to-back turnovers by Oregon State. San Jose State gives it to Tyler Irvin. He had a nice day for the Spartans. He scores, and it was 14-14. This is when things started to change in the first half to go San Jose State's way. Wallace with the interception. Then Winston working along the back line, makes the sliding catch. 21-14 San Jose State. But in the third quarter, Oregon State took this game by the throat. They outscore San Jose State 21 to nothing in the corner. Nice play action, Villeman from 31 yards for the touchdown. The miscue on the punt by San Jose State leads to a quick touchdown. Seth Collins, the freshman quarterback, looked terrific on the ground tonight. The straight arm for the touchdown, 28-21, Oregon State. Then Joe Gray makes the biggest mistake of the night. Caleb Solo, the 41-yard pick and prance for six. 35-21, that would be your final score as neither team scored over the final 15 minutes. Mike, how about 438 yards of total offense by a young Beaver team? And a lot of that from Storm Bars Woods and his performance on the ground. You talk about a young team that's trying to grow up and get ready to take on Stanford in the Pac-12 opener. Storm Bars Woods, the senior with all these freshmen around him, it was an upperclassman who carried them. 181 yards of total offense, a touchdown, and a hug for his mom, Faith.